I know I'm not the only affordable watch collector who wonders about luxury watches. I've never had my hands on one before. I've only seen them in pictures and on YouTube. And when the BlackBerry 36 came out, I was automatically in love. It was the most beautiful thing, or at least the most beautiful watch, if my wife is listening, that I had ever seen before. But $3,000, that's not in an affordable watch collector's budget. And that's where the San Martin came along. They did an homage of this watch that looked almost like spec for spec, exactly the same. From the color to the design, you even can get the same Swiss movement in the back. So what are the actual differences between these two watches? And for someone who has never held a luxury watch before, are the differences between the two really that important? Well, welcome to the channel. We're going to answer that question today. My name is Jonah. This is the 1010 Club. We're back in the basement with both watches in hand. And there are some very interesting differences between these two watches that I had never seen before in press photos or on YouTube. So let's answer the question about what exactly is so special about a luxury watch and also just compare side by side the San Martin and the Tudor. Let's do it. And here we go. For this video, the Tudor will always be on the left side of the screen. The San Martin will be on the right, although let's be honest, you should be able to tell the difference. I'll pull up some specs on the side before we jump into the major differences. They're almost the same. San Martin's a little bit bigger, as you can see from the measurements. They weigh, though, almost the same, and all of the materials are the same. Sapphire, glass, stainless steel case. They also both have a Salita SW200 movement, although Tudor has the absolute top grade and is regulated and chronometer certified, and the San Martin is none of those things. All right, let's jump in. So the first difference I want to look at is what actually attracted me to the Tudor Black Bay to begin with, which is the dial. Quickly, if you glance, they look very similar, but when you see them in person, they're very, very different. I'm specifically talking about the colorway. They're both black with white indices, but the blacks and the whites are so different. The Tudor has this, it almost looks like an enamel dial. It has a sheen to it, and that black is like a depthless black, an infinity black. And when you pair that with this super crisp white of all the applied indices, it's just my favorite color combination ever. The San Martin is also black with white indices, but the dial is a flat black. And when you see them side by side, you can see this black is just a little bit less black. It almost looks like you left it out in the sun for a while. So a little bit of like a, a sun bleach effect. Also the white, the white is just a little bit off white, not faux fatina or anything, but fatina, <laughs> faux patina. But it looks like these indices just drank a cup of coffee and rinsed their mouth. And it looks like the Tudor had some crest whitening strips applied. The second difference, and maybe the most physically recognizable, is the crystal. They both have sapphire crystals. However, the Tudor is flat with just a little bit of the crystal proud of the bezel where the San Martin has this big old domed sapphire crystal. I love domed crystals, so I thought I would actually prefer the crystal on the San Martin, but it actually affects the viewing experience in ways I didn't anticipate. One of the details I love about the Tudor is the space between the minute track and the outside of the dial, that just ring of black in between the minute track and the chapter ring. You can't see that on the San Martin because the dome kind of distorts and gets in the way of it. The same thing with the Reha chapter ring. I love the chapter ring on the Tudor and you just can't see it on the San Martin. And I believe that's only because of the dome. The difference that really interests me the most though is the case shape and thickness. On paper, the Tudor is thinner, 10.3 millimeters thick. San Martin 11.5. However, if you take away that dome crystal of the San Martin, all of a sudden it's a different story. The case, we have a slab case design on the Tudor is 6.2 millimeters thick, 4.7 for the San Martin, just obviously thinner and a different design. It's no straight edges on the San Martin. They're rounded, smooth corners. It almost reminds me of like a SKX case just shrunk down where the San Martin is just that straight slab. The fourth difference I want to get into 
is the bracelet, but more specifically, the clasps. So many people on YouTube going on and on about how awesome the Tudor clasp is. I had never held a luxury watch. I'd never spent any time with one. All I could think was, really? Is it actually that good? How could something be that good? Uh, the answer is, yes, it is, and it can, and I'll tell you why. Night and day differences between these clasps. First, the measurements. 31 millimeters long versus 37 millimeters long. 6.5 millimeters thick for the Tudor versus 8 millimeters thick for the San Martin. The San Martin does, though, have four points of micro-adjust, where the Tudor only has three. The main difference, though, this is a two-button push deployant, milled clasp, very nice. But I have never felt more joy operating a clasp than I have with this Tudor Black Bay 36. There are ceramic ball bearings in here. We'll take a look before we snap it. You can see it right there, that white ball bearing. And just the... Oh... It feels so good. It sounds so good. And again, as someone who had never held a luxury watch before, never held a clasp with a ceramic ball bearing in it before, I couldn't imagine that it would be worth it. But this clasp is just beautiful to use. Every time I use the clasp, I just get a good feeling inside. And that's what's important. You want to wear a watch that makes you feel good. I also love the milled out inner part of this clasp. It just, with the stamped Tudor, or at least I like to imagine it stamped, rather than etched high polish on the clasp, the thinness of it, it feels so good on wrist. The balance between this and the head of the watch versus the balance between the clasp and the head of the San Martin, really just in a league of its own. And the fifth difference is kind of a, an honorable mention, but it is really important. It's the crown. They're both signed crowns. They're both screw down crowns. Both of these watches have 150 meters of water resistance, but the half a millimeter of width difference and the little collar on the Tudor, it makes all the difference. The Tudor is just so much easier to use. You wouldn't think a half a millimeter would make a lot of difference, but it really does. Or is it this aluminum collar that seems to be so divisive. I know a lot of people do not like that this crown looks like it's popped out because of that black aluminum collar. But I'm here to tell you, especially for a 36 millimeter watch, it makes using the crown so much better. It is a dream with the collar and the size combination. It's kind of a drag using the San Martin crown. It's hard to unwind. And as I unwind it, my fingers are hitting the side of the case because there's no tube. Winding it is fine, although there's, again, lots of contact with my fingers. And then screwing it back in is hard. I got big old gorilla hands. I'm six foot four. Look at the size of my palm. Can't do it with the San Martin. So, uh, it's fine, but this is unbelievable. All right, conclusion time. Can the San Martin stand in place of the Tudor Black Bay 36? As I said in the beginning, no. They're just different watches and you get different feelings from them. Is the Tudor Black Bay 36 worth $3,000? I mean, also, no. But, I mean, it also is because people are willing to pay that amount of money. But for me, it's the overall feelings you get from the watch. The color combination of the Tudor, I absolutely love this black the clasp action, the crown action. There's just so much that when you put it together, it's larger than the sum of its parts. I am very curious though, how I would feel if the San Martin looked more like the Tudor. If they had the same kind of enamel, reflective, deep black dial, if it was a flat crystal instead of the domed crystal, if it was a one for one remake, I don't know if I'd still feel the same as I do right now, which is that the Tudor is just head and shoulders above the San Martin. I know that the newer versions of the San Martin do have the 19 millimeter lug width, so they are getting at least a little bit closer to being almost a clone of the Tudor. But as it stands, if you love the look of the Tudor Black Bay 36, you're really only going to get it 
in the Tudor Black Bay 36. Thank you so much for watching. A subscription really does help the channel. Do check out, though, there are some other San Martins with the enamel-looking dial in green and a couple other colorways. I'll leave some links below. Thanks again. I'll see you later.